Hey guys and welcome to this video. Today I would like to show you how you can create something like this in Cinema 4D and Octane. Um, I'm using my texture pack which is available on Gumroad. I will leave a link in the description. Um, the texture pack contains 30 textures which are 6K resolution and are free to use for everyone, uh, even commercially and they cost one dollar and I will show you how you could use them to create something like this in Octane and Cinema 4D. So let's get started. So of course you can uh, use any textures you want. You, you don't have to buy the pack. You can download textures for free on the internet or something like that. Um, I'm gonna use the texture pack today. Once you've downloaded the texture pack, um, you will get all the 30 textures in here and you can just try to mess around with them. You don't have, you don't even have to use Cinema 4D, Octane, you can use Blender, you can use Maya, whatever you want, whatever renderer, they should work with any software. Or even just graphic design, whatever you wanna use them. So in this image on the left, I took the texture 25, which is this one here, and I took the texture and converted the texture into a normal map into a displacement map and into a specular map. So there are a few websites and softwares out there, but I know one software that I uh, just started using, which is called Shader Maps. I think the software is free to some degree. Um, when you buy the software, I think you get more options to customize your maps, but I think the free software um, will do so far. I might even release a follow-up pack or something like that that include all the bump maps and, sh and all the, the displacement maps for you to use so you don't have to convert them because um, we need to adjust them a little bit. We need to open in a Photoshop and blur them a little bit. But I will show you how, to, how I would do that. So once the software is downloaded and installed, we're gonna click here and we're gonna import the texture we would want to convert. So we're gonna click to 25.tiff and now it's just gonna start rendering all of our maps that we need and we don't even have to do that. We could customize them a little bit more, but I think that's only, yeah, we, we can do that a little bit here, but I prefer to do that in, in Photoshop um, in the pro version of the software. You can do it in here if you like. Um, so as you can see, the normal map is already done, but I figured out that we need to open it in Photoshop and blur it a little bit as well as the, displacement map, which is here. So let's just do that. Let's save the normal map first. Um, let's just click to save. It's gonna take a little bit. So once this texture is saved, we can open it with Photoshop. Um, we go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and we add a blur of one. So I just, I'm just messing around with these. Um, I might even try to do it better, but this is just what I figured for this texture. This might uh, vary for every texture. Um, once we edit this, we can save the image and just simply, we can just simply replace it, which is uh, okay, PNG, and then yes. Let's do the same for the displacement map. We're gonna save it. And let's also save the specular map I don't know why in this weird um, format here. Let's go to maybe PNG or TIFF. Um, maybe PNG 16 RGB. Then let's also open the displacement map in Photoshop. And we need to blur this one a little bit more. We got a Gaussian blur and we set the radius to 10 because the displacement map I think needs to be blurred a little bit more. Let's replace the displacement map. And with the specular map, let's see how this one looks. So the specular map, I don't know, let's just leave it for now. We can also um, modify it a little bit in Octane. We can close shader maps now. And now we have our one, two, three textures plus the diffuse, plus the normal texture, the original texture and we can start making something in Cinema 4D. So for this tutorial, I decided to go with a skull. Um, there are a lot of uh, free models of skulls online. I found one on Sketchfab. Um, I will leave the link in the description. You can download that one for free and use the same if you want. That's actually the one I used in here. Um, so we can make a new scene in Cinema 4D and then import our new model 
and I think this is pretty small, which it is. Let's just increase the oops. Let's just increase the size here. And now we can start adding. Let's just make a new glossy material, add it to the skull. And then we can open up the note editor, which makes it a little bit easier for everything. So we have a little bit more of an overview. And let's import all of our new textures now, all of the 25.tiff textures. So now we have the specular map, which just goes into specular, normal into the normal map, the original one into the diffuse. And for the displacement, I figured, um, let's set the mid level to 0.4. Level of detail for now, maybe to 2K. And then the height, um, this is really, it depends because if I set the height to 10 here, it's just a complete abstract model. Um, let's just set it to 0 0.08. Um, where's this placement here? And now, oh yeah, I also, yeah, let's start the Octane render for now. And as you can see, it's pretty wild. And as you can see, there are, this is the effect of the displacement map here. If, if we uh, disable the displacement map, it would look like this. So you, you can also use it without the displacement map, however you like. And then um, normal map. We don't have a bump map, but I think we can use also the, maybe the specular or the height map. I don't know, it's just, it just adds a little bit more detail or unnecessary detail, however you want it. I'll just leave it for now. Um, so to have a better preview of this, let's set the light maybe. Let's set a targeted area light. And let's just move it a little bit around to have a little bit of a preview. Let's make another one maybe in the back. Let's just, just for the preview. And then let's create HDRI environment. We're just gonna make everything dark now. And then Let's just move the lights a little bit around. Okay, let's just keep it like that. We're gonna make, I always like to make an octane camera with the focal length of 300, so it looks like a small object or it's like far away but zoomed in and now we of course can see the light and what is going on here we need to bring the light a little bit back otherwise it's in the scene let's also set the scene to path tracing because when you when you set it to path tracing you can see the little bit more details in the eye here and then Let's go back into the material and let's change it from material type glossy to universal. And then let's crank up the roughness a little bit more. So now it's a little bit more shiny. And we can also try to change the projection here. Um, I found out that shrink wrapping in this one, I think it was shrink wrapping. Um, you can of course play around with this but I found that either spherical looks pretty good or, or shrink wrapping looks a little bit messed up, but pretty cool. Or is that again? There. And this looks pretty cool up here. So now you can offset and you can move everything around until you like it. Maybe, maybe like that. So it's just dripping off the head, something like that. This is very, very bad, I think, I don't know. Maybe the displacement makes it look so bad here on the teeth, I don't know. Yeah, a little bit. Maybe change the mid-level a little bit. Or you can also remove the displacement completely, I don't know. Let's keep it for now, it makes it a little bit more messed up, and I like that. 
Another thing I found which looks really awesome, um, there's the thin film layer, which of course makes it look very trippy. But to make it even more trippy, and use the same texture that you have in the uh, in your albedo here or in your diffuse channel, um, maybe just copy it, and then put it in the film width. It's called film width here, but it is the uh, thin film layer here. Um, so once this is in the thin film layer, um, you can start um, messing around with the texture here. And as you can see, the skull now has pretty interesting looks and new colors as well. So pretty trippy colors. And you can try to mess around with everything, with the power, with the gamma, to create some new colors, new effects. Maybe even invert it, I don't know. And then maybe this one should have some effects as well, yeah. Let's try to mess around a little bit. The displacement map with this model is a little bit weird because of the teeth. But if you're just adding the texture to a sphere, it might look great. But here it's a little bit, it might be a little bit off. And also, it, it, it might look weird because the level of detail is very low already. Let's bring it up to 4K or 8K might be better. And this is really just all about messing around and experimenting and always changing things like the projection here. It has just a completely different look all the time. But I think, yeah, the displacement map is really messing with the model here. Yeah, let's just remove it for now maybe. And then we can also still mess around with the normal map. So then of course we could go in and for Instagram I always um, use the height um, 1350 by 1080 and then I would just do it like that and then maybe make it so now you can see how big octane here is and how big your image would be and now you could go in and add a little bit of post a little bit of bloom and then a little bit of Monica, a little bit of LUT, maybe the Mac, I like the McKinnon one, or just mess around, just find a cool one, just play around with the colors. Also, um, yeah, denoising, and the response, also try to mess around with the responses here, to find, a, sometimes Portra looks really cool, and then change it, the gamma a little bit, I think this is a little bit too dark, everything here. So that's just a lot of playing around, messing around with the textures. You can also, um, what also might look pretty interesting if you would only use everything but the albedo maybe. Yeah, this also has a pretty cool look. Or maybe if you would add maybe a dirt, I don't know. Let's try that. Okay, that's not dirt. Oh, okay. So we just replaced the albedo with octane dirt here. Has a pretty interesting effect here. So we only have the color effect from the thin film layer here, but we don't have the the original texture anymore. So now we basically just have specular map, normal map on the skull, but without the texture and it already looks cool. So um, yeah, you can do a lot of crazy stuff with this. Maybe like that. So the dirt adds a little bit more detail. So I think when you're making something with a skull, um, so this, these details around here, the eyes, the nose, the teeth, make it look really cool. So that is how I would use my texture pack on creating something like this. In my next video, I will show you how you can create abstract landscapes with these texture packs. So stay tuned and uh, I hope you liked the video. I hope you liked the texture pack and I see you in the next one. Goodbye.